YouTubers, how's it going? Farm Boy Reef here. So I'm just down in my uh, my basement lab. So I'm gonna sh this episode. I'm gonna show you. It's all about the refractometer. This is one of the best tools you'll ever have when you have a salt water tank to check your salinity in your tank. You want your tank water to be about 0.025. Your salinity. That's what I run my tank at, and most seawater. Um, tonight's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can calibrate this. So for your refractometer, as soon as you get you get it out of the box, you wanna make sure everything's set at zero because you know when you're taking your, your test set of your tank, you wanna make sure it's always 0.025, your salinity, but you wanna make sure this is set at zero. So what you need to do is they're gonna be a sample. Usually when you buy it, they're gonna put a sample in there of distilled water. I have some distilled water here. Um, this is what you use to uh, to set everything at zero. You calibrate it, and there's a little, there's a little screw right here at the top. This is how you calibrate it. To set it at zero because what you're going to want to do is you're going to have a blue this blue scale on here i'll show you a picture there's a blue scale and a white scale what you want to do is you want the blue and the white to meet exactly at zero all right so what you need to do is um, you got to take open up your eyepiece you're going to take your distilled water and you're just going to put a few drops on it all right next thing you're going to do is you're going to close the flap and it says to wait about 30 seconds so let's just wait about 30 seconds so now I'm just I'm gonna look through it. So the best to put it at different lights, like you can use natural light or you can use a light. So I'm looking here. All right. So I gotta calibrate this a little bit. It's it's off by like 0.1. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little screwdriver and put it in here, and I'm just gonna turn that until the two meet. You're gonna take your blue and your white on your scale and make them go right to zero, and then you know it's perfectly calibrated. So you do that. Okay, so after you make sure you always you clean everything after you're done. I'm just gonna use my shirt here, but you clean it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a sample of my tank water here. So I got I got my tank water right out of my sump behind me. And I'm just gonna put three little drops on here. I'm gonna close the flap again. Now I'm gonna look through here and read the scale. And I want my scale, and I want my uh, my line and my white line to be exactly on 0.025 and then I know my salinity is perfect in my tank. So I'm just going to look up here. Yeah, so it's 0.025. I'm going to show you guys a little chart. I'll show you guys in a minute. So it was perfect just the way I wanted it. Make sure you guys always clean this off with uh, RO water because if you don't, you can get rust in here and it starts to corrode and you don't want that. You, you know, you spend your good money on your equipment, you want to look after it for a long time. So I'm just going to clean this off for now, but I'm going to wash it. You can use your distilled water or whatever you want to do, just wash it off, clean it up. But it's very important, as soon as you get your refractometer out of your box, wherever you've bought it from, online or wherever, because the calibration can come off. It's very important. You want your calibration to be perfect. You want to make sure it's set at zero, make sure the blue line and the white line meet at zero. at zero, then you know that your refractometer is set perfectly using your distilled water. All right? Um, yeah, very, very useful tool in the salt water industry. You know, this is, you know, perfect. There's a lot of different ones. There's ones you spend thousands, thousands of dollars. There's a refractometer, like the one that you put in the water and you let the arm flows, but this is more accurate. You get a more accurate reading in your, uh, for your salt in your tank. Every time you do water changes or just everyday use, you want to check your water, make sure it's perfect all the time. So. That's the refractometer. Um, and the other thing with refractometer as well, um, like myself, I wear glasses or contacts. Um, right here, this is your focus, your focus lens. It's just like if you're looking through a, like a telescope or binoculars and you're looking through it, you wanna, you wanna adjust it to your eye to get your perfect result because it can get blurry. It's just, it's just like looking through, through binoculars, you know, and it's really unclear. So that's another tip too. You wanna make sure that you use, uh, make sure you get it in focus. Um, yeah, so make sure you clean it all up perfectly after you're done. Calibrate it as soon as you get it out of the box. That's the calibration screw here, just with a little mini screwdriver, like a, a glasses screwdriver if, if you have one. And usually it comes in the little kit. You'll have the screwdriver. It'll come with the water sample, of D, uh, DI water. Um, yeah, so make sure you keep everything clean. So that's this uh, week's episode on the refractometer. I love this unit definitely worth the money. You can look online, get them for a great price. You go on eBay or wherever you want, get them maybe for like $30. I think I paid $30 or less for this one. It's definitely a good uh, good unit you guys should get. So that's uh, today's episode. You know, thanks for watching, guys. Um, 
thanks for all the support you guys have been doing for me out there. I really appreciate you guys on YouTube and all your subscribers and everybody on Google Plus and Facebook for all your comments and helping me out here. I really enjoy what I'm doing and making all these videos for you guys. It's another hobby of mine, you know, working out, farm, family, and uh, the reef tanks. Definitely a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, please guys, please subscribe and hit the like button. Please leave lots of comments. I'll make sure and get back to you guys. I love getting the comments, guys. I love uh, interacting with you. Um, I'll be heading down to MACNA this year, MACNA this year, 2015. Can't wait. Hopefully see a lot of you guys down there. Maybe we can talk about some uh, fish tanks and stuff. So, you know, please, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys. Bye.